Now that we've set up the scene, let's go ahead and create a first person character that can move around in the scene. In order to do that, we go to the Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Character Controller, Character Manager, Menu option, and you can see this dialog will pop up. So let's go ahead and just go through the options. The first person perspective is, or the perspective for first person is what we want because we want a first person perspective. The movement type should be first person combat. Movement types basically describe how the character moves in relation to the camera, and this combat movement type will be your classic first person movement where forward is forward, left is left, etc. Character, we're going to leave that blank right now because we do not want to use a full body character. If you're using a first person perspective, you don't need to have this character field. And then because of that, we'll want to deselect animator because if you don't have a character game object model, you can't have an animator for that game object. First person arms, we're going to leave blank because we will be adding those to the next part of the video. And then we can see here that these options were changed because we don't have this character option or this character set up with the animator. Um, if I try to add like a ragdoll, we'll get an error because you can't have a ragdoll unless you have an animator. So now let's just go ahead and hit build and see the character is in our scene now. I'm going to close this and I'm going to select just the capsule collider. And let's go ahead and hit play, and now you'll be able to see that we can move around in the scene. So we have a basic character set up without any full body awareness. All right, so, so that was easy. Let's go ahead and create a character with full body awareness now. We go back to the character manager, and this time under the character field, we want to select Nolan because this will be the model that we'll be using for the uh, the first person character for full body awareness. So let's drag him in and you'll see that we have some more options now. The model type should be humanoid because we're working with a humanoid. The animator controller is the demo animator controller that has all the animation set up for this humanoid character. First person arms is a thing that I skipped earlier and this is the game object that will be used for the first person arms. With normal first person perspective games, the arms are detached from the character and are completely independent of the character. This kind of just gives you more flexibility with how you animate them and how they work in the scene. And so we have that separate detached arms game object. We can see that we now need to select a, or we can select an animator controller for those arms. And we have this first person arms demo animator controller that is set up to work with these arms. So that's all that's required there. These third person objects are the objects that will be hidden when the character is in first person view because uh, that will allow like the helmet and these arms to be hidden but they should still cast a shadow so that's why we're dragging them here and then we're not just completely eliminating them just from the model file because we still want a shadow to appear for the head and the arms. So let's drag those three game objects in. And once we do that, let's go ahead and hit build. And you can see before I close everything that Unity's Ragdoll Builder now opened up with all the fields selected. And this opened up because we had Ragdoll selected. So now let's go ahead and create the Ragdoll. So now we're, we're set up there. And you can see this character no longer has the third person arms or head. And so when I hit play, we should see the character just kind of moving around in a first person view. Let me go ahead and decrease the size of these gizmos so they're not in the way as much. All right, so now, now I have my third person character. You'll notice that the arms do not show up, the separate first person arms do not show up. Um, and that is because no item is equipped that is using those arms. That will be for a later video. But we have them set up now in order for them to be able to be used.